I was at home, man. I was at uh at my dad's house, uh, in Port Arthur, Texas, and I had a you know a house full of people, man. And the first day went, you know, and it was kind of sad, you know. And then I woke up the next morning with all my friends around me, you know, and they called me in Cincinnati, said we're gonna take you. So ever since then, I had a chip on my shoulder, and I'm gonna play like. Oh, uh, the the, the uh, I wouldn't even look at TV. If I gave <laughs> advice to some people, man, get with your friends and family, man, enjoy the moment. You know, if you're in New York now, that's a different story. But if you're at home, man, turn your TV off. Wait for the call. Relax, get some food, get some drinks, and you can cool out. Are you going to watch the draft? No, nah, I ain't. <laughs> nah. That's seven years ago. I'm, I'm not watching no draft. I'll find out who we take the next day. But until then, man, I'll probably be getting a massage, chilling, <laughs> and, 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 and cooling out. It's hard, you know, when people telling you going first, second round. It's hard, you know, as a, you know, 21-year-old, you know, Grown up, it's hard for people to be telling you this and then you don't get taken first day, you know, it's hard, but always you can keep that chip on your shoulder and, and use it to the best of your ability.